the shield because he has the power of both games. Incredible. <sighs> Speaking of incredible, both of these guys, they're so, like, they have a legacy behind them each. And seeing them face off, it's, it's interesting because they have just a different ethos about playing. You know, uh, <laughs> these are not my words. I think somebody said uh, he was either the, was it like the smartest dumb player, the dumbest smart player? I forget. He's the smartest dumb player, <laughs> that, for that's sure. That's the one. <laughs> you know, like, the guy, I mean, <laughs> that's not to deride him at all. But, uh, nah, he knows like, he does like, dumb shit. Like. He does dumb stuff, <laughs> and also his knowledge of the game is sometimes there are some funny anecdotes well, about Kind of lacking sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's Whereas like, Sinji is like the lab monster, like, knows yeah. every single thing about the game and his character. So there's almost that kind of dueling sort of guiding philosophy where Sinji, really, he's an engineer. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh! But, you know, being an engineer doesn't mean you actually can make it back to the stage. Amazing edge guard from Mr. E. That's huge, especially in a matchup that can kind of go slower like this. Having a massive stock advantage. Yeah, like, E is actually playing extremely calculated this set. Like, he's making sure not to, like, overextend. Because that's what Pac-Man wants you to do and kind of, like, what he not only wants you to do, but sort of needs you to do, <laughs> you know? So, he is like, nah, I'm playing it. Playing it safe. I can be in your face, and, like, I know what my options are. Like, even there, uh, when he landed and went with that falling nair, he was able to block the counter play. Uh, now, the afterwards, you know, lost it, but, you know, the initial idea was there, and it did work. So, he definitely knows his spacing. <gasps> and, yeah, so, evened up uh, percents, but you got a whole stock lead. Got a, well, oh gee, okay, Pac-Man. He like got bounced up and then jumped, so it just made him look really extra floaty. But yeah, now three socks to one. Uh, he is not giving him any room. You see that? Mm, he's just like killing time, just bouncing yeah, around. He, he is playing fantastically tonight. You know, we were talking about how we didn't want to have a, uh, a three-peat for Venia. Yeah. And he is one of the guys that can stand in his way. Uh, and just the way that he's playing right now, he's at 145 and still living. Sinji feels like he's at a loss, gets that first stock down finally, but this is looking pretty grim for the pack. I feel like he could have, like, countered that initial hydrant. Well, that might have been way too much of a Multi-game conditioning. Yeah, he's getting ready for it. So, you know, try and hit him with the hydrant game two or three. We'll see. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Sinji actually starting to make back some ground here. So Sinji kind of acting like he's in the lead. He isn't. I mean, he has the time to. He, still he does. Won. And he is the kind of player that isn't really going to go to timeout. <laughs> like, I mean, he is not going to approach when he doesn't feel comfortable doing so. Yeah, no, he is uh, But sometimes gonna... if he feels like he can approach, he's going to. You know, like when he's ahead by this much, sometimes even if he doesn't have to, he'll just, you know, I'm all right. I feel confident in my position here, so I'll just go for it. Amazing drifting in behind Pac-Man there to make sure that the down smash wouldn't send him off stage. Ooh, Ooh. that's not going to be it, though. It's that getting be close, it. though. Mm -mm -mm. That is going to be it. Wow, the, just cutting off all of these options. So brilliant and now, from Sinji. And this now we is, have a game. This is a, It's not even just quite yet. There's a lot that Sinji has to do. But I, I feels like maybe, you know, that sort of edge guard that happened to him at the beginning affected him a little. And now the cobwebs are starting to be shaken <laughs> off. He's at 122%, though. Yeah, it really looks like Sinji was just like, oh. This is what I'm dealing with. Okay. Oh, really good forward jump. Oh, that hydrant seems to be coming for him. But since he's so aware, doesn't get hit by it. And my gosh, he gets something started here. Great job reading the roll. That's another 161% onto him. Oh he grabs a ledge just barely. I don't know if he has a jump. He does, but he has to go back to the ledge. Mr. E is stuck in the Ugh. corner. A down tilt is not enough to do it, but any light breeze will probably take Sinji out right now. He's aware of that. Finally gets the up air, punishing him out of shield. Mr. E takes game one and would end up being a nail biter of a game. 
Yeah, so right now, uh, that it's actually kind of funny. Uh, e can't use the tablet because the tablet was just like, I'm an update. So every stage is banned. <laughs> so every stage is banned, yes. Every stage is banned. Uh, we're going to Temple. Yeah. It's the only stage that isn't banned. <laughs> ah. uh, 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 uh. Although I think the update's almost over, so might get it going again soon enough. But we're going to Lilac. Going to Lilac. Oh, yes. um, I'm trying to, what do you what stages would he have banned? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've, we've gone back years now. I wonder what happened. The technology has failed us. Yeah, no, I'm not we, really we, sure. We flew, we flew too close to the sun. Yeah. And now we're getting burned. Our wings. Literally, they're flying towards the sun. Anyway, so Lila, uh, pretty, all pretty interesting pick uh, by Sinji. Maybe he wants to be able to, like, bounce his items in... Really? Okay. In Actually, one thing is that so Mr. E has played against Sinji a ton, right? Yeah. And that means he's very familiar with Pac-Man's setups and all of that. But with these extra angles, Sinji knows the exact placement that every single one of his projectiles is going to go. Which means that maybe that will give him some sort of information advantage where... I mean, already we saw that Apple went into a place that yeah. Mr. E was not prepared for. It's so definitely a lot more unpredictable. Yeah. Why does this track sound like it comes from Dragon Ball Z? This music track, uh, you know what I mean? So Maybe it's just the horns. I, I, I get what you mean. I don't necessarily agree, but I definitely see where you're coming from. Woo! That downer has been putting in so much work for Sandy Oh, yeah. Today. No. That downer from Smash Bros. to this game. Uh, they made it a move, and they made it a darn good one. All right. Ooh. All right. That DI was actually nuts. That's... Yeah. Oh, actually continuing the combo. That's 114%, 115 now on Sinji. Wow. Uh, how is he going up at that angle? Is it the hitbox he's getting or is it the yeah. DI? It's it's the uh, the it's like the hitbox he's getting hit with mixed with the DI as well, but like the inside box can like send upward. It's like kind of behind her, I think. That I'm just saying that ah, musical uh. phrase right there sounds like it comes from Dragon Ball. Yeah. Oh, from like old Dragon yeah, Ball. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Even here, I guess I can see what you mean. If it's all old, yeah. All right, so uh, he has to take the stock if he wants to start finally working on like fixing that deficit. Whoa, ah, oh my God. <laughs> all, right, all right, that's guys. why he wanted to go to Lilat so that nobody would know what's going on. All right, so finally going to take that stock 100% to zero. Can he do it? Doing a pretty good job right now, uh, keeping him off stage. I really like that. He, like he's always like an endless pursuit, but he knows like his character's limits, and he like will retreat not because he can't reach him, but because he can make it back in time for a second chance of an edge guard. Oh my god! Oh, that's uh, oh, that stunned for long enough. I wonder why. I, I feel like that was a short, didn't it? <laughs> maybe. It might have had something to do with the stage. Actually. Yeah, maybe. And he went out there. I'm, I'm actually going to... I'll ask Sinji afterwards what the deal was with that fell because he shook his head in a way that he seems really mm -hmm. disappointed. All right, so he able to reverse the situation and is now in, a, in the and lead. he's going on the aggressive, throwing out all of these hitboxes. It's something that we haven't really <laughs> seen so far. The apple is Whoa. enough to do it, though, but 40% on Sinji, that's a non-insignificant amount. I mean, the last talk we saw that Mr. E was not scared to go deep, and that ended up, that back air just killed him at, what was that, 70 or something? Very low percentage. Okay. 50 damage is not really, like, a hard lead, you know? So, Sinji gets, like, some... One of his singe strings. He'll definitely be able to even oh, up. And it's happening. <gasps> he tried oh. to kill him. I don't know if he wanted that forward <laughs> smash. <laughs> Since he finds time to, like, charge his projectiles in the middle of his combo. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, yeah. He is just... It feels like these guys are so close to getting a big hit on each other. 
respecting the other characters' Ooh. frame data. Ah. And that's a good back air. Not enough green DI from Sinji. And Mr. E threatens going deep again. But he knows that he can't really uh, do anything against <laughs> that could the... Be huge. Oh. Finally, the up smash connects. No shortened that time. Sinji takes game two. Okay. All right. Now, I think that stage worked out really well for Sinji, barring the maybe something weird happened with that bell. Um, right. So this game three... I would say PS2, maybe? Oh, did I tweak this? Only you can know that. Again. Yeah. I did. Cool. Phew. All right. So, yeah, he got rid of uh, Triplats. He was doing a really good job bringing that back. So, Sinji has to do a little bit of mix-ups because I feel like it would be in his favor just a little bit, uh, like, going into this next match. Uh, but, you know, take a deep breath and, you know, Stick to your strength, and he should he should be able to hang on to it. So we'll have to see if uh, he can penetrate that. Three, two, one, uh, go. <laughs> I've been watching Xavier Renegade Angel lately. It's, it's a big right. mistake. So Sinji going immediately to the ledge, uh, and through the through the powers of grabbing the ledge, was able to deal 16 damage to E. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Right now, it's just going to be like a few stray hits, maybe a small string going on. But oh. Low percents. I love the way that Sinji just using the down tilt, like this little check poke. Sinji really does use every. Now that Pac Man has a sort of a functioning kit, he uses all of his moves. Like, he really does try to. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, really good combo from E. That's 93%. Sinji had to go the way out there. Oh. oh, that. I love the idea behind that deep edge guard, but it ended up really backfiring on him. He took so much damage as a result of the counter attack. Sinji's head actually poked out above the lip. He could have gotten seriously punished for that, but Mr. E not really there to punish him. That was an amazing upbeat. That recovery from Mr. E was so fantastic. Just really threading a needle. And this last now, stock. They have to, now they have to think about how they're actually going to get the kill. Yeah, this you first know? stock is getting pretty goddamn intense. Ooh, but we had been seeing Mr. E kind of go deep for that, like, get it, Ooh. you know, just follow Sinji off stage. It yeah. had not worked out until it did. And the fact that he got ah! that stock first, look at all this damage. The oh, hydrant no, actually strap. helping him out. Oh, this is this is not what you want to happen. Game three. Oh, oh and the weirdest hitbox of that back air. Sword is covered in sonic boost pads. Doesn't matter when it hits you, you'll go flying. Oh, oh no. and that's two stocks gone from Sinji. He's this is gonna be rough. He did have something similar to game one, and he yeah. managed to make that pretty close, but. This time around, that was on FD, and I think that FD is probably a better stage for those types of comebacks yeah. for Sinji. Uh, wow, and look at that. Like, Mr. E just really respecting Sinji by not trying to punish that grab. Realizes, like, okay, you probably have some type of game plan as to why you were doing this, and so he just doesn't even mess with it at all. Sinji getting that counter hit, and the F tilt is going to do it, but... Now he's already taken 32%. He has the Galaxian in hand. A counter is really big, and he drops a Galaxian. Now he's off stage. These recoveries are just so difficult to always get against Mr. E. And Mr. E is also, you're seeing shielding a lot more and getting those out of shield punishes because Pac-Man, even though his grab might not be the worst thing in the world, it's certainly not something that Sinji can really rely on, especially when he has to take no damage. He has almost zero room for error right now. Hundred and ten percent. Things are looking grim. A strip, just sort of grab release. Put him on the ledge. Neutral. There's not enough to do it, but Sinji has yet to get any footing, any way to really bring this back into his favor. 
even when he finally finds some stage control, it's short-lived. Mr. E is just playing so well right now, just dynamically switching back and forth between this aggression and just spacing him out. Ugh. That was so scary. God, when you can start throwing out like your tilts that are like meant to be safe bogues and then they kill, you're like, oh, I'm in a bad spot. All right, gets the punish on that. Again, might, have, might have a shield drop. Ooh. Well, that should be it. Yep, catches the down air on shield. Punishes with an up tilt, and that's going to be the set. He's 2-1 for Mr. E. He moves on into winners, where he, in semis, is going to be facing off against the winner of Extra O and H3K Frozen. By the way, so Blanks did a really good job getting deep in.